YouTube, Christopher, check this out. This is a Kramer Pacer in Tiger, right? Is that what it's called? What is this finish called? Orange Tiger. I think this thing is super cool. This is like a total throwback to the 80s and all the metal that came out of that era, which is my favorite kind of music personally. This is George Lynch slash, you know, Steel Panther satchel. This thing is awesome. It's got a maple body. It's got a, a maple neck. It's got 22 frets. Uh, they're medium jumbo. Uh, nickel frets. It's got a 1000 series Floyd Rose on it, which is decked. And what I mean by it's decked, it's against the body. So there's no up pull. This thing might go up to the top of my list for best bang for the buck. This thing's loaded with Seymour Duncans. It's got a JB in the bridge, it's got a jazz in the neck, stock, it's got two volumes, neck, bridge, single master tone, it's got a three-way switch, which puts you bridge, both, neck. The, the volume knobs have push pulls, so when you pull up on them, it doesn't split the coils, it puts it in parallel, which is my favorite wiring. I don't have to change anything on this guitar. Like, the stock stuff is amazing. It plays fantastic, I'm here to tell you. The frets on it are flawless. I wish you could really see them very close. I'm banging into stuff. Man, I don't think I'm going to get a good shot. But the fret work is immaculate. It's a great feeling neck. It's a slim C-shaped neck. It's just a shred machine. It sounds incredible. It plays even more incredible. The way this thing plays is awesome. It's super comfortable. It's got all the contours on it. There's no hard edges anywhere on this. It's all rounded off. I absolutely love it. Here's the back. It's just got a regular four bolt plate. Floyd Rose electronics. Couple of things that I gotta make mention of. I did have to fix a couple things on this. QC missed one thing, which was where this bridge, the uh, tremolo bar is underneath, there's a socket for it, which was, it's so close to the edge of the route, the clear coat that they sprayed on the guitar when they were painting it kind of bulged out and it was rubbing against the arm inside. So it literally would, uh, 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 and it would stop wherever it wanted to. It wasn't so tight that it wouldn't return to zero, but it wouldn't return to zero unless you put it there, kinda. Uh, so what I had to do, so I had to take the bridge out and I had to file away the uh, excess clear coat that was on the inside of that route. Uh, Should have got caught by QC. It really shouldn't have left the building like that. Um, but I was able to fix it and uh, it's been perfect ever since. Uh, what else did I have to do? This switch was rotated wrong. So like when it was in the down position, it was the neck. When it was in the up position, it was the bridge, which is the opposite of every other switch in the world. So I had to open the electronics cavity and switch that around. Now it's fine. I did my own setup on it. When I first got it, the bridge was floating. So you did have up pull, but I had kind of high action. So I ended up lowering this down and decking it out to get the action that I like. And it's maybe a touch too low. Uh, you can hear the frets starting to try. Starting to try to buzz out because it's such low action. The action is crazy low on it. You can maybe see it, maybe not. I doubt. It's really, really low, but it's still very playable. I actually find it very comfortable. Um, comes with nine gauge strings on it. I have no idea what brand they are. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to put my tones on here and I'm going to start off on the clean channel as per usual. And this of course is in my Neural DSP Archetype John Petrucci. So here's the clean channel. Here's the bridge full humbucking. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's the pull, which puts it in parallel. Okay, here's back and full hum in the middle. We got two in full humbuckers. Just the bridge in parallel. mode. me I love that parallel pop all right let's go up the ante on the gain we're gonna put it on oh man what do I use is it this one yeah mutton chops so this one's kind of like a classic rock type of tone <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
parallel bridge. position we're gonna go for some reason into parallel <laughs> even in parallel mode you can still get crazy harmonics <laughs> Thank 
noodle all day if I don't stop myself. Middle position, both in humbucking. <laughs> Just neck in parallel. Did I do that yet? In the middle position, I should say. Neck, full humbug. Self in parallel. This is a Kramer Pacer. This thing is amazing. Under 800 bucks. This instantly threw itself to the top of my bang for the buck list. It's got a little bit of weight. It's probably in the eights somewhere, close to nine, because uh, it's an all maple body, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Maple body, maple neck. By the way, it comes with your tools for your Floyd Rose up there on the back of the headstock. Very cool and convenient. Of course, I had to accessorize with a tiger strap from Levy's straps 
Um, amazing guitar. Like, I know all my videos, I'm like, this guitar is amazing, but it is, dude. Like, put your hands on one of these things. If you like 80s metal, you're, you're a fool if you don't try this guitar and buy one. They're so cool. And I, by, by the way, I'm not affiliated with Kramer or Gibson in any way, shape, or form. This is something I purchased with my own money. There's uh, nobody helping me out here. Um, absolutely awesome. I highly recommend you try one. And uh, thanks for watching. If you're still with me, you are the coolest. And I'll see you in the next video. So take care. Peace.